And now, your first alert weather. All right, got some cloud cover and some showers and thunderstorms rolling in, especially from the mid to upper Snake River Plain right now and getting into those Snake Highlands. Uh, we got 63 degrees in Idaho Falls. Got a couple of raindrops here on the lens of the First Alert Sky Cam. Winds at the airport at 11, but we've been seeing some of those gustier conditions from those passing thunderclouds. Now we got some sunshine over here in Pocatello at the Farm Bureau Sky Cam. We look to the south, though. You got some of those menacing, ominous looking clouds rolling in, and we do run the risk of more of these thunderstorms for tonight. And we're even after sunset, I'm looking for the thunderstorms to stick around and take hold here. We got thunderstorms right now with showers heading through Franklin County, getting into the Cache Valley, a bit of some wet weather also in Soda Springs. We also got some passing thunder cells here in central Idaho from Salmon to Chalice to Stanley, hit and miss thunder showers, and also some pretty good strong thunderstorms now getting into the national parks, just skirting to the north of Jackson. Idaho Falls, we did have a little thunderstorm that came through just a bit ago, and now it's moving over to Iona and heading into the foothills. It has lost some energy. Haven't seen any lightning strikes in the last 10 minutes or so, uh, but this thing is still kind of just chugging along, especially in the northeast side of Idaho Falls and Ammon and just kind of on the outskirts of Yukon. Plus, also, we got some thunderstorm activity still in Teton County. Most of the heavy showers now out of Teton County, Idaho, but on the Wyoming side, we're getting some of that stuff into Grand Teton National Park. And heads up, Rexburg, you got a thunderstorm on your doorstep here. It's skirting into the Hibbert and Plano area right now, and we are seeing this thunderstorm producing some of the lightning. Uh, in the last few moments, I've seen just a couple uh, lightning strikes, but this is not a severe thunderstorm, but it's putting down some rain and it's moving in here to Madison and Fremont County as we speak. So the thunderstorm threat continuing. High pressure to our south. It's been there for the past couple of days and high pressure starting to form here in the Pacific Northwest. And today we got this front out of Canada that's helping to churn up the atmosphere and trigger in some of these thunderstorms. Now what's going to happen here is this high in the Northwest is really really going to strengthen over the next couple of days. And as it does so, we see our temperatures take off into the 80s this weekend. I'm going to call this, though, a dirty ridge of high pressure. We call it dirty high when we start to pull in all this monsoonal moisture. So the dirty ridge of high pressure is still going to be with us. And normally high pressure would bring us hot, sunny, and dry conditions. But no, this high pressure is still going to tap into that monsoonal flow, and that's going to drag up that thunderstorm threat for tomorrow and Friday. So we have to still contend with the thunderstorm threat, at least for the the next couple of days, which you see here on the Vipercast tonight after sunset, we still have some late night thunderstorms sliding on through and we could even hear some late night booms out there. But then as we get into the morning hours here for tomorrow, the thunderstorm threat pretty much confined to areas near the Wyoming state line. Then we clear up briefly with some sunshine tomorrow afternoon and I don't see a lot of thunderstorms getting into the Snake River Plain, but there's still a chance of a stray storm. Most of the storm clouds here for Thursday and Friday are going to be pretty much hanging up into the foothills and mountains around eastern Idaho and Wyoming with just a few stray storms in the lower elevations. So we still have to look out for some storms tonight and tomorrow. Highs will be in the 70s for your Thursday, but we're getting into those 80s by this Saturday and Sunday. With temperatures tomorrow in the 60s for Montpelier, 70 for Preston, and 66 in Lava. With highs in Rexburg at 70, same for St. Anthony, and the upper 60s for Jackson with lows tonight sliding back down to the mid-30s for Jackson. We got some sunshine and highs in the 70s for this weekend in for Jackson with a high of 73 for Saturday and 74 for Sunday with some thunderstorms in there as we head into next week. We get a few thunderstorms in there for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Rexburg, a high of 74 for Friday, a high of 80 for this Saturday under mostly sunny conditions. Then we're pulling in a couple thunderstorms for Monday of next week and temperatures sliding back down into the 70s. 70s tomorrow for Salmon, 60s tomorrow for Mackey and Arco with the 60s also in Stanley. In that Salmon eight-day forecast, we're aiming for the mid-80s this weekend for both both Saturday and Sunday with a couple of thunderstorms tomorrow and Friday. Now moving back into the Snake River Plain, we got temperatures here at 73 for INL and the mid 70s for Pocatello, lower 70s for Idaho Falls. Temperatures will be back into the 40s tonight and again a few late night thunderstorms tonight with some sunshine tomorrow morning. Then tomorrow afternoon I'm calling for once again that slight chance of a thunderstorm. Sunshine on Friday with highs in the mid 70s for Blackfoot, 80s for Saturday and Sunday. A similar story here for Pocatello and Idaho Falls. Temperatures climbing into the mid 80s and by Sunday in Pocatello, we're approaching 86 degrees with some thunderstorms next week. Idaho Falls, a high of 74 for Friday, low to mid 80s for this weekend, and we have plentiful sunshine for both Saturday and Sunday with overnight lows drifting back into the 50s this weekend. Todd, over to you. All right, Michael.